every part of the business together. She has been the rock in his life as he came back from the struggles of personal issues. He openly talks about his battles with mental illness, with depression, of alcohol and drug abuse. He was up to 400 pounds and out of the sport before he rededicated himself and has climbed the mountain. Let's hear what the judges say for that. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Don Trella, scores about 116 to 112. Eric Cheek sees it 117 to 111. And Tim Cheatham scores about 118 to 110. All three in favor of the winner. And still, the undefeated lineal heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury. They got it right, but that barely tells the story. A well-earned, unanimous decision win for Tyson Fury. But more drama than you would ever expect. Valim put forth the game plan early. Then in the third round, he landed the big left hand that opened up that bad cut. Fury dominated the middle and late rounds, hurting him in the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh. But then Valim came back and turned the tables and hurt Fury in the twelfth. Bernardo. Bob Aram came over to congratulate Otto Valim on a great fight. Otto, you said you came here to win, and you proved that. How do you feel about your performance tonight? Maybe the scorecards don't reflect what the fight was like. Yeah, I didn't need to hear the scorecards. But, you know, I, f I did everything I could. I, uh, I tried my best, and Tyson is a great champion. Joey was telling you, target that cut. How much did that cut make a difference in how you fought tonight? What, what did he say? When you saw the cut, and Joey Gamash was telling you, target the cut, how much did that change the way you fought tonight? I just I tried to hit it even more. Uh, I know it was a punch that did it in the corner over there. And, you know, I was happy that he was cut, but I wish that I could have capitalized a little more on it. You hung in there with the lineal champion who many consider the best heavyweight in the world today. What does that tell you about where you are? It, it, it tells me that nobody can question my heart and question that I'm a good fighter. Exactly. Thank you very much for your time and your performance tonight. Nobody can question that. And that guy is going to make himself a lot of money in the course of the coming years with that performance. He is a true heavyweight contender. The final punch stats, by the way, Tyson Fury total punches 179 to 127. A clear advantage there. Power punches 127 to 84. A dominating power punch connect total for Tyson Fury. There are the final numbers. You see, Vileen was a little more judicious, but Fury had all the power that landed in the middle and late rounds. Bernardo. We all knew about the huge cut that happened early on. Now there's a second cut on the eyelid. Tyson, how did these cuts change the approach, especially when you found out that it wasn't a headbutt, but it was a punch that if had, they had stopped the fight, you would have lost by technical knockout? Yes, uh, firstly, I just want to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me the power, the strength, and giving me the victory on this special weekend. Secondly, big shout out to Bob Arum, top rank, Jimmy Patero, ESPN, and Kevin Mayer. And uh, after that, I want to say big congratulations to Otto. I just want to say rest in peace to his father. I know he'd be very, very proud of the performance that Otto Wallin just did. The great Swede, the Viking warrior. It was a great fight, you know. I got caught early on um, with the inside of the glove uh, on the eyelid, which caught the eye, changed the fight completely. For the majority of the fight, I couldn't see out my left eye, and then Southpaw Orthodox clash, clashed heads and gave me a second cut. I've not seen the cut, but it feels quite bad. But, you know, I am a gypsy warrior. This is Mexican Independence Day. Come on, New Mexico! Viva Mexico! You told us in the fighter meetings you wanted a war. You wanted to finish this fight with a body shot a la Julio yes. Cesar Chavez. You ended up with a face like Julio did against Oscar De La Hoya yes. with the blood and everything. What did you learn about yourself and your performance tonight? Listen, it was a good performance. Got a good 12 rounds in. Otto Wallen was a tough Swede. Um, blood, guts, heart, all show tonight. I won the WBC prestigious Mayan belt. Lineal champion, fifth defense of me title. Deontay Wilder, I want you next, boom! You will get that next once you recover from this cut. And when we look at that, 
2020 is a fight everybody sees. What did you learn tonight that will help you for that fight? Listen, all preparation is good. You know, I had a long time out of the ring. That's my third fight back now. Well, one, two, three, four fight back. Put me in good stead now for the big boy, the old bronze bomber, the big dosser, a.k.a. Big Dosser. He's next February 22nd. Let the cut heal, you know, enjoy myself and uh, get some time to relax with the family. It's been a long, tough, hard camp. Round 12 against Deontay Wilder was memorable. Right here against Otto Wolin, it was also a very tough round. How do you get through these rounds and just continue uh, just coming forward? You know what it is? It's all heart and determination. If I've got, if I can keep going, I will keep going. You know, he was a tough guy, uh, him with some chin shots and some body shots. He kept coming. He's six foot. Six.